Hey hey hey, my name is Paul Schlings and welcome to the third episode of Invisible Apartment 3. And yeah, we are on the mission on which supposedly Alex and his mom think we are going to kidnap a little girl. Hopefully, we'll be able to not do this. Because, well, obviously I'm not that type of person, first of all. And Casey also. I believe it's not that type of person. So let's hope for the best. What shall we do next? What do you mean? Don't you plan to contact Alex and his mother to make amends? I'm not sure it's that simple. Besides, I think that straightening things out might mean giving in to Alex's mom. Alex's mom. Aren't you just being rebellious? Are you fighting with Alex's mother because she represents authority to you? Are you quarreling with her merely because she's pointing out your flaws? You think I'm being childish, is that it? <sighs> Can I get a second opinion, Mask? It might also be the case that you're being manipulated by someone who's rationalizing their actions with the belief that they are wiser and more mature because of their age. Oh, it's Mask's sake, okay, sorry. Uh, but that doesn't mean that your actions are beyond scrutiny or reproach. So if I'm right, you're saying that doesn't justify the way I'm acting. I get it. I thought for a really long time that the ones going after us were wrong. What do you mean? They called us criminals. I thought that we were better than that. I thought we were the good guys. If our goal if our goal is to stop the CIA from imprisoning hackers in sleeper cells then your statement that we are the good guys seems to be accurate. What's the price we'll need to pay for? The lines between right and wrong just keep getting blurrier. Perhaps you simply feel confused by the situation. I feel lost. Even though you were able to complete some of your main objectives. Yeah, we rescued Alex's mom. We are not dead either, but... And we haven't been caught, but... Is that what you meant, ask, mask, ask, mask? My point is that by doing things like going after Emmy, is there really much of a difference between us and the CI? They hurt people and say it's for the good of many. We are hurting each other for the good of what? Ourselves? The few? Does that even make sense? It depends. Is the pain you are causing outweighed by the good resulting from it? Is it really that simple? Can you really just put something like pain into an equation like that? <clears throat> you cold for me, sir? It's wet. I'd like you to make some preparations. Yes, sir. I'm ready. It's time for us to end our neutrality. What? <gasps> what? What does he mean? I feel like I should take matters into my own hands. Am I just being paranoid? Or is there something to my fears? What if I make another mistake by not listening to Alex and his mom? Alex might have been right when he said that I've put a soul in danger in the past. Do, 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 do. Talk with Yuki one more time. Contact Alex, his mom. And his mom, probably. Uh, tell them you couldn't find Emmy. Okay, I liked Yuki, so let's go with that option. <laughs> I'm going to connect to Yuki one more time. What do you wish to achieve by doing so? I thought for a long time that Alex believed the same as I do. That we would work together and see things through to the end. Galaxy Gun. But now I think he's biased. His mom is manipulating us. Perhaps you're being too paranoid. There is also the possibility that Alex's mother wants the best of her too, and you are incorrectly evaluating the situation. It is the case then. I could be making a big mistake. But why would Yuki help me find the whereabouts of her of Alex's mom if she's an enemy? Why is she helping you at all? That's what Alex said too. I'm not sure about my decisions. I'm not sure who's good and who's a villain anymore. I don't trust myself. 
Are you adopting yourself or are you adopting the path you're traveling? Maybe you're adopting the legacy you've inherited? Why are you helping me? I have faith that you will make the right decisions. If you really had faith in me, then why help me in the first place? Wouldn't I just make the right decisions? Aren't you also trying to manipulate me like everyone else? I'm helping you to break free. <clears throat> Is me helping you find and follow your own path also a form of manipulation? When has someone ever helped me without wanting something in return? I don't even remember. Did Alex help me just to save his mom? Was that the only reason he helped me? Hmm. I need to ask you for one more favor. Sure. But this time, I'd like, I'd like to ask you for something in return then. Something in return? You've helped me as much, so much without asking for anything. But I don't know what I have to offer you. What do you want me to do? Was this it? Was Yuki helping me just to get me here? Just to lure me into a trap? I'm scared. I'm watching everyone around me, trying to not look suspicious. I guess the way I look isn't helping for... What do you mean? Well, you have the... I guess cyberpunk hairstyle. This guy look... Well, like a punk, actually, basically. Good old punk. This guy, this guy may be a bit, I wouldn't say, I would say only the device you have on your head would make you stand out. But maybe they don't really pay attention to that as well. Let's continue. What if Alex was right after all? Is that her? Yes, that's her. It's, it has to be. My heart feels like it's about to jump out of my chest. You want to know what happened as much as I do, don't you? I bet you also want to know why you've been drawn onto this path. Maybe you're doing okay. Or maybe you just think you're okay. But you know deep down that something's missing. You've had someone taken from you. And it's my fault, isn't it? We've both grown. But so have the holes in our hearts, haven't they? Pa pa pa. She's not rip. She's not reporting back as I hoped. Oh, she's stubborn. She thinks she knows best. I hate that about her. She burns herself a million times, but always reaches back into the fire. It drives me mad. You were always an orderly boy, always cautious. I can imagine how you feel around someone who acts so more spontaneous than you. You might say that I'm boring. Yeah, you will survive. I'm not sure about the girl. What do you mean? Tell me, what exactly is there between you? You two? Don't tell me that you were together for so long without feeling anything for each other. I admire Kersi for how strong she is, and how she could survive the, like this for so long. Do you love her? Or were you together only because you had common enemy goal? Enemy goal? Were you only together because you represented something to one another? Huh, I wonder. Will you still feel the need to be together once everything ends? Do you want to be around the girl? This girl wants their peace. You're asking me if I'm with Casey only because we need each other. And what will happen once that need isn't there anymore, right? Yeah. We've been together for so long, so long there, but that's always been as part of fighting the CIA and their machinations. I'm not sure if I can imagine us living a normal life together. I hope that we won't drift apart once everything is over. But you might need to go your own way. Once everything's over. Honestly, I'm afraid of that. What if that's what you need to do to survive? What if, despite you liking her, she was only using you for protection? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. You know, I kind of don't like her now. Surely these thoughts have crossed your mind. Don't tell me if I haven't. I'm not denying it. I just don't want to believe it. Alex, look at me. Do what's best for you. Don't hurt yourself over and over like she does. 
It's possible that she might not even want to return. If she doesn't want a mentor like me, if she isn't a team player, then you'd need to let go, let her go, Alex. Let her go her own way. A cyber bar is the safest place I know. Once you enter the cabin, you're basically hidden from the real world. Really? I can see people here and here. <laughs> but maybe it's like soundproof. And there's only you and your connection to the tent. Wait, you are talking about something different. Not what I'm thinking about. Okay. The operators of these places strive for maximum privacy, privacy for their guests. If they wanted to know Amy's whereabouts, they would need to be inside the CIA or have an ally there. It's not perfectly safe, but it's still not safer than having Amy walking around out there after she's been reported as missing. The authorities have tried multiple times to crack down these places, but strong opposition by human rights activists have kept them open. I met someone right after I was able to extract the data. Alex's mom gave me out of my mind. She led me to Joel. Or maybe, more accurately, she led me, him to me. If he was able to find me then, shouldn't he be able to do it now too? What's trying, what's tying Joel to the CIA? Is he working for them? I won't really know until I talk to him again. Um, Casey? Is that really you? I mean, you look so weird. <laughs> well, thanks. I feel like I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. And I'm running out of options. But there is no way I can let Emmy become a bargaining chip. By this point, Joel has to know about me setting up the honeypot and linking more confidential information through it. But was he one of the people who contacted us anonymously through the pot? Could I get in contact with Joel again the same way I met Yuki? I need a way to figure out if he is reaching out to me through the pot. And which avatar might he be? Might, might he be? Might be his? Yuki gave me hints about what to do. I don't need to worry about my actions putting anyone in danger more. Do you mean Alex? No, I only need to make sure that I don't endanger the last remaining person I care about. Everyone has a boss. Everyone reported to someone up the chain. What if you were searching for answers in the wrong place? What do you mean? The CIA isn't... What are you telling me? Take a step beyond the game and change your perspective. Try to see the world from the eyes of the general who watches everyone from above. You are here, I know it. You've been with me the whole time, haven't you? Don't pretend like that isn't true. You will come. I know you will. My parents will be mad at me. Please just wait for a little bit. I promise you will come. I always feel awkward. During reunions. Meeting someone after a long time. It's so emotional. I stepped aside once Joel came to our meeting and met with Amy, Amy. Would he still have come if Emmy wasn't in danger? I don't know. I'm just glad he came. I need some answers. The note I gave Emmy that led you to your friend, AI friend was a dead man's switch. Or so I thought. The fox orchestrated both my capture and my release. She wanted to get my loyalty, so she tricked me into believing that she was my savior. She wanted me to believe that we were on the same sides, fighting the CIA and unraveling a conspiracy. Wait, so Alex's mom got you captured so she could trick you and get you on her side? And she did it to put you into play. My capture was only a way to trick me, but also the trigger meant to set you on your path. Emmy gave you a note that guided you to an AI from the CIA that would help you along the way. Mask, but Mask became so much more... AC, I'm glad you think the same as I do. Through your... Through your AI, she had a way to find you. It was a tool you used. 
but she never intended to help you reach your own goals. Rather, it was all to help her. She needed your help after she ended up in a sleeper cell herself. How did that happen? How was she captured? I don't know the details, but she went too far with playing games with the sleeper cell program. She bit off more than she could chew. She was counting on my help, but I figured out I was being tricked and abandoned her. I guess I also wanted revenge too, for her to suffer for what she did. I can imagine how furious she is about that. <laughs> she tricked us into believing that she was some kind of savior, a leader, we could trust, but all she wanted was to use us as a puppet? She didn't win for, we didn't become her own personal army, did we? KC, I can't honestly tell you whether or not this game of hers is over yet. For all I know, we might need to cut ties to everyone and everything we care about. Would that be worth it for? We've almost succeeded in that already, haven't we? Do you know the reason why I didn't get in touch with you? Uh, uh, sorry, do you know the reason why I didn't get in touch with you? For I'm not sure if it matters anymore. Maybe it does. At least it might give both of us some peace of mind. I was a coward. The fox prison move a reality that just wasn't right. I trust you, Lisa. And trust is recommended in this world. Our relationship has always been professional. We've never talked about anything other than our tasks here at the CIA. Oh! <gasps> she worked for them. She works for them. I like it when a relationship is purely pragmatic. And I like it even more when it works. <laughs> you might say that we've been beneficial to each other. We've had the sacrifice that it sometimes takes to support others. Speaking of your mind with a cheeky smile that just like you. I'd like to fill you in on one classified operation. So you're still keeping some secrets, even from me? Surely you're not this surprised. You're hardly a god. You'll be part of the team that finds and catches dangerous individuals. Am I not helping the agency to do just that already? The difference is that is what happens when we catch them. The operations I'm talking about will need to step over some boundaries in order to reach their goals. Surely you're not talking about doing something, anything illegal, are you, Londa? I'm talking about doing what is necessary. You know as well as I do that we sometimes need to think outside the box to reach our objectives. Manipulated, manipulating skilled hackers into luring us to even more hackers. <gasps> Ouch! That we put the ones we didn't need one on ice, put them to sleep ourselves under false pretenses. We could be doing so much more. There's so much unexplored potential. I can't guarantee the safety of her little sister, just your own sake. But if you work with me, anything, everything will be fine, trust me. All the other options would lead to a catastrophe. I spent years searching for a way to lead the CIA. Not because I didn't align with their views or what they were doing. It's because I wanted to be free again. <laughs> At last, I can experiment a little. You stepped over the line. What do you mean? You're the one who told me to work outside the box. I'm not talking about that, Lisa. And you know it. What then? Your little puppets. I've always been able to help myself when I find an interesting po toy. Saying that you acted on your own wasn't meant to be praised. In fact, I'm disappointed in you. That's hard to hear from you. Please explain. You made one of our lab rats work for you. Not for the CI, but for you. You used his circumstances not to proceed any further in our work, but to make him your own little puppet. You used the agency for your own ends. The sleeper cell program was meant to create a personal army of brainwashed kids for you. I expected you to be tough. I expected you to be manipulative too. But I didn't expect and won't tolerate you stealing from us. I didn't steal from the agency. You used one of those kids hackers. We captured for your own personal gain. Now we have an asset out there in the wild who doesn't answer to us. They are only taking orders from you. Manipulating him as part of your job is different than using him on your own time. What were you thinking? You became a bigger threat to us than any of the hackers you were responsible for capturing. 
Do you think I can let this pass? I can't let you walk away from this. Nor can I allow you continue working here. It sounds like you've already planned my execution. And you've closed the doors to, on any discussion. You've known me for too long to know, to know what to expect. It's times like this that I hate my job. I never wanted to lose you. But, you know, I'm sorry, Lisa. What will happen to Alex, my son? I'll make sure that he's taken care of. That's the least I can do after all the work you've done for us. He'll be close, but never close enough to know the truth. Thank you. And... I am make sure that you regret adopting me and trying to throw me away. I'll be free again, and when the time comes, I'll show you what I'm really capable of. You're far from... far more condemnable than I am, Londo. And I'll expose those disgusting parts of you to the world. I'll let her use me. I let her use me. She was behind the CI take me into custody. She tried to use the sleeper cell program and the CI to her advantage. Think about it for a second. Back when, then, when you gave me the food that you obtained. Don't you think it was too easy to hack into the security camera? I don't know, was it? Wake up. You're a good hacker, but you are not world class. You were just willing to take the risk. That's how you managed to get us all where we are now. She used us. All of us. Was it a trap from the beginning then? The server you accused. Uh, you accessed was a honeypot. It was the same kind of trap with the same kind of bait that you and your partner set up. The only difference is that it wasn't public. It was a test. The only ones who could get in were hackers. That was the fox's plan all along. Set a trap and get someone to fall into it. But you didn't. I didn't? What do you mean? You didn't fall for the trap back then, I did. You gave me the footage and the details on how to connect. I thought that I'd stumbled onto a massive conspiracy, hackers being put into sleeper cells. And that was true, but the information we found about it was the trap. That red haired witch deceived me. She made me think that we were saving the world. She gives you just enough information to get you hooked into a plan. A mission. But she never reveals her true intentions. What are they, Joel? What does she want to do now that she's free? What do you think is in the encrypted parts of the data she copied into her mind? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? How is the data nothing? Because she doesn't need to give you anything of value in order to get you to act. It's a deception. It's a lie that's making you think that you have a greater purpose. It's a Christmas present that you can't open without her. The encrypted files that have her name on them include just what you think they would. Information that links her to sleeper cell programs. Program. I don't have the key to those. So why did she want Amy? What's she after? It's all about you. Me? Dune, why did she risk sending me out on my own? Because if she can make you do what she wants, then you're useless to her anyway. So it's all been a test? I've been tricked into being someone's lab rat again, haven't I? Why did you never come back? Why didn't you try to contact me? When I realized that I'd been lied for too for so long, I felt... ashamed. I felt bad for throwing everything away for the sake of some higher purpose. I couldn't look you in the eyes. You shouldn't have been afraid. I was waiting for you to come home. I knew that, but my shame overshadowed the truth. I was so afraid. I still am. I'm sorry I made you wait for so long. Coming home is really difficult sometimes. It's the same with you, isn't it? You run away from home, and you're afraid to return. I'm glad you came to our meeting today. Not coming home is one thing, but once you told me that the fox wanted to use Emmy, I couldn't stay aside like a coward anymore. I'm still terrified to go home, but more than that, I'm terrified that my sister will get hurt. It's as simple as that. And regarding the fox, I fear you didn't pass her test, Casey. But wait! Even for Alex, no, the fox did what she did, even for she lied to us. We still stumbled out onto a conspiracy, right? So did all the other hackers who ended up in sleeper cells. You discover something, and that leads you down the path to a sleeper cell yourself. 
It's a trap that shows you your own future. It's a closed circle. They developed something really evil to find something else they believed to be evil. But don't kid yourself by thinking that we're innocent either. We still hugged security cameras and did all sorts of stupid stuff. Don't we still deserve the right to a trial? The end result would still be the same. We would be in jail. No one's innocent at this point. Not the CIA, not us, and not the Fox. Just because one of us is evil doesn't make the rest of us innocent. So what should we do now? The CIA is still after me. Should I go hiding again? Am I going to be all on my own? I would gladly join you if I got all of us out of this maze. There's just so much that you would need to overcome for. Even once you have the folks off your back, the CIA will still be there. And you're still a criminal in the eyes of the law. A way out of the maze. She's taking way too long. She's no so much for dinner. That sounds just like her. <coughs> just like her. At least we have the data. The parts we need are still encrypted. But at least we have the data, right? What about Casey? Everything we're doing is dangerous, you know that. I wonder if it's worth it for. I don't want to question what you've started. The whole thing about the sleep parcels is wrong, but... <clears throat> do you ever think that maybe it's not worth endangering everyone around you? Alex, please don't. If I knew what would happen. Then you consider the plan could get you and the people helping you caught and persecuted. Alex, what do you want me to do now? I can't turn back time. Would you do everything the same if you knew that we'd end up in this situation? What the CIA is doing might be wrong, but this feels wrong too. The CIA is a bunch of lunatics, Alex. They're scum. But Casey isn't. Neither am I. And your life is more important to me than fighting and dying for the principle of it all. You're just naive. Am I? Then please fill me in. I'm all ears. Who would be able to handle the details? Wouldn't I? I can barely cope with this. It feels wrong to risk your life and your family for something that doesn't personally affect you in the first place. Why such a complicated plan? Why take all the risks? Casey might be right. We should have just fled together. Yeah? Are you like that girl? Terra is a coward. Do you need a helping hand with everything like she does? She might think that the world is a fair tale. She doesn't. She just wants us to pick our fights more carefully. Don't interrupt me. He didn't. You're not like her. I'm not like her. We're not puppets. Puppets? <laughs> Is Casey just a puppet to you? Am I a puppet too? You think too much? In any case, we need to consider Carol a casualty if she doesn't contact us soon. We can't spend time on weaklings, not now. We still have the rest of the CI data that wasn't leaked. Casey is more important than all of the data. It's all only brought us misery. It's our ticket out of the mess. Just do what I say, and we'll dump uh, all of this soon. Is it? Is it really more important than Casey? I don't think... Mom's telling me everything. What's the point in arguing now that Casey's gone and we can't get in touch with her? I shouldn't le have let her go alone. You may not like it, but we've got to keep moving forward. Regardless of whether or not Case returns. You mentioned the trial. That implies you plan to get caught? I thought you said your strategy, working alone or with Alex, was to expose the central intelligence. Alex mom manipulated me. And her own son. She uses him like a tool. Child disappearing. Me getting in touch with you. And us meeting Alex. My role was to gather secrets, create connections, and execute small plans when needed. But why me? Why did she choose me? Did she? What do you mean? Remember the sleeper cell footage you discovered? The one you believe is responsible for Joel disappearing. It was all a test, wasn't it? She set it all up. It was a honeybot. It might be that she was searching for individuals with your qualities, and she finally found them. You mean young? Naive script kiddies? Wanna be hackers? Yeah, I guess we are. E we were easy targets. She manipulated you too. She wanted me to steal from the CIA, and I did. But I also saved your life in the process. In the end, our actions didn't have entirely negative consequences. 
Saving your life wasn't her objective though. She wanted me to have you, to use you when I needed to. You were a tool she didn't want to dirty her hands to get. Does it really matter what her objectives were in the context to our friendship? In the end. They are all why I'm still alive. Alive, alive, alive. You're right. I'm glad I was able to save you, Mask. I made a lot of mistakes after our arts fall. No one's innocent. No one's intentions were purely good or bad. The past few years of my life feel like a lie. Even though I was a rebel, I was just being manipulated all along. You might be upset, but the truth is that you have more freedom than I will ever here have. The time we spent together does not seem like it's just a collection of someone else's decision, not to me. So you're saying it's my, all my fault? I'm saying that you choose to rebel and run. You choose to be a hacker. I'm the one who chose to save Alex too, aren't I? There's one last thing I have to do. What is that? I can't tell you. You tried to make me change my mind. So it's something risky. And something that might sound illogical to an AI like me. You could say that. I want you to upload yourself to someplace safe. Do you have somewhere specific in mind? I don't. Actually, I'd like you to not tell me where you are uploading yourself. But how will you find me again? How will I be able to find you? Are you sure about this, Casey? I want you to be safe when I don't do what I am about to do. And that's all there is to it. There is more to it, isn't there? Please tell me what you're planning. Sorry, but I can. I made a promise. You will find a place, won't you? You will find somewhere far away where you can be safe. We'll meet again, I promise. But for now, I want you to be free, Mask. But what about you? What about me? I have a promise to keep. Okay, let's find... Maybe, maybe we'll find out what's the promise about. But for now, let's end the episode here and we will obviously continue with this game tomorrow. We will see where the story, the Casey's story, will go. So, for now, hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.